Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out on this Wednesday morning with a scripture reading from Matthew chapter 27, verse 55 through 66. Many women were also there looking on from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee and had provided for him. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember what that impostor said while he was still alive. After three days I will rise again. Therefore, command the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may go and seal him away and tell the people, He has been raised from the dead, and the last deception would be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers? Go, make it as secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. That is our scripture reading this morning. If you will, please join me for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear God, as we pray now, we thank you for your endless goodness to us. Thank you for all the skills and talents that you have given us and for everyone that is part of the wonderful community that we live in. We pray that you would give us great wisdom and insight as we go out into this world today and make decisions about how we interact with others in the best ways possible. We pray for a church family as we all continue to find our way through these unusual times. We open our hearts to you, Lord, and invite your Holy Spirit to be present amongst us as we serve you today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great Wednesday today.